Hello everybody, check it out. Here's what we're doing today. We got a uh, research analysis that just came due and the first one to get turned in was Reese. And so what I'm going to do is give him a little feedback and by way of his feedback, give it to all, each of you so that your research analyses this semester can uh, be in pristine condition. So everybody can take a lesson and a few cues from this particular critique. By the way, Reese did an outstanding job on his critique, but it was just one big blob. It was just a huge paragraph blob that was posted into the quiz tool. And this is how I want you guys to set, set it up. Uh, I want you to have uh, four different sections in your research analysis. That would be introduction, methodology, results, analysis. Uh, results sometimes called findings, analysis, sometimes called discussion in the, in the literature. But... Uh, just reminding everybody that we have 11 steps in the research process and what I've done is taken those 11 steps and distilled them down into four sections of a research paper because that's basically what each research paper amounts to, the uh, four sections of the report. The introduction and review of the literature, in our case, we don't review the literature because the author's already done that. You're just reviewing the author's uh, point of the research analysis. So it just contains the concepts and questions. So therefore, in Reese's particular setup, what I did was I, his uh, first section would be the introduction, and then I pasted his uh, introduction in here. So this is what Reese said, uh, and uh, I'm going to try to post this so everybody can see each other's. Um, and uh, he's talking about what the authors did and, and what their whole thing was set out to do. The, and, this, and then, of course, the section in that introduction also contains the research hypotheses. You can see my study guide, How to Create a Research Analysis, for more information. And uh, he talks about, okay, the hypothesis is juvenile offenders, they hypothesize, are more likely than adults to receive a sentence that involves incarceration. So we, got, we wanted to see if that was true. And so... The third section of your research analysis is the methodology section. It talks about how the study was operationalized, how they turned the concepts into data. So the authors collected data, et cetera, et cetera. I pasted Reese's uh, section into this thing, and I think it would be better if I just went to a new page here, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, so we got his uh, introduction contains the hypotheses. And then I come over here and talk about the methodology. This is how they were, everything was set up in the study. And then see what I've got here is the research, the various steps of the research process. It also contains the variables. This section does, the methodology section. So Reese identified the independent variable, and then he identified the dependent variable. So this is all really cool what he did, but I've just pasted it into these four sections and then, of course, this section also tests the, or contains the null hypothesis in addition to the theory. And that's what I want you to have in there in your thing is the, the null hypothesis, which is what Reese did nicely, and I pasted his null hypothesis right here. And then, uh, then the last, excuse me, the third section is the findings section, sometimes called results. According to these research findings, Reese said, and he, I pasted his little blurb in there, and that was good. Let's go ahead and put this on a separate page so it all seems nice and conjunct. So we had his, uh, his uh, methodology on that page, and then we came down here and we got his findings on this page. And he talks about the Juno process. It's a great study, he, and he did a great job analyzing it. It's just that I want the thing set up in the intro theory results analysis uh, format. And here comes section four, the discussion and conclusions. And then I pasted Reese's discussions and conclusions right here. So by way of using Reese as an example, and I hope he doesn't mind, I uh, uh, am informing all of the class members, all three of us, it's beautiful. This is beautiful. Um, it's a great semester. I can give individualized attention to you people and treat the thing almost like a classroom. I think this is the greatest thing ever. It's the greatest thing that's ever happened to me, I can tell you that. So there is his results and findings, and Reese did that. And I'm really excited about this semester, you guys. I'm going to post a uh, discussion, excuse me, a uh, uh, 
crit, uh, what do you call them? critique of each one of you's, uh, what do you call them, thing. So uh, that's cool. Research analysis. Bye-bye.